Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is an update for something that we all use. On uh, a lot of our actual Amigas, we use a program called Amiga Explorer. What is Amiga Explorer? It comes with Amiga Forever, and mine's on my desktop. And if you launch it, it'll either run in serial mode, or it will run in Ethernet mode, BSD socket library. So if I run it, I can then use a uh, null modem cable, USB to serial on a PC, uh, and talk to the Amiga. You've seen me do it before to transfer files to a machine that's has no network card. It's a great way for uh, like an Amiga 500 that has nothing to get some files to it to kind of help it along its way to configure your programs. And I'll go into that later. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel my Amiga Explorer by double clicking it again because I want to show you a faster way to do things. While Amiga Explorer is a great program, and you can get it for free now, I believe. Uh, I have a registered copy, and to get updates, I have to put my serial number in. No big deal. Best uh, 20 or 30 bucks I ever spent buying Amiga Forever, because i got all the ROMs legally. I have all the files, games, RP9s, everything legally. I own it. It's wonderful. Uh, if you don't own Amiga Forever, invest the money and buy it. Amiga Forever is great for using a PC to get files or get give files or get files to a, an Amiga. But what if you don't want to use your PC? What if you just have like your PC on, or I have a server in my case, and I use Miami, as you all flame me about, uh, mainly because it works on a 68000 before this was accelerated. I use Miami, and I just like it. Uh, you have to have static IP addresses with Miami because uh, it kind of sucks doing DHCP, and it doesn't always work correctly. But as in my previous video, we are using the uh, Vampire Ethernet off of the little board with the JTAG connector. Works fine. Uh, it's a 10 meg card, and I don't know if I get 10 megs. I've gotten 5 out of it on a speed so test. Anyway, what so I'm anyway. doing here is in uh, Miami, if you go to database, and then this changes from protocols to services, hosts, go into hosts, and I added the IP address 192.168.1.2 to my Apple XServe. And it's called XServe2. And that's it. I just have a host, Control alt m So the TCP IP stack is running. We're going to use this utility called SMB Mounter. It's freely available on Aminet. And it does require the SMB uh, toolkit. And there are like three or four to, to get. Uh, what I... Oops. Oh my god. Which one I found was... Uh, that's Odyssey. La, 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 la. So I downloaded Samba. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It was 1.34 megs. That worked fine. But you have to download this thing called smbfs-68k.lha. If you don't do that, this is going to complain. So when you launch SMB Mounter, mine's going to mount my drive. Let me unmount it. Yep. Let's make a new one. I'm going to make a new one to another share I got. So new, when, you're, when you fire new, you say SMB you get this little list. The name. What is the name that you want to call the mount in the program? So I'm calling it dump on get that mouse out of the way. On XServe2. Work group I leave alone. Host name is XServe2. Or you can use an IP address if you don't have anything in your host file. Service. The name of the share on the device. My share is called dump. So your name, your password, whatever it is, and then, uh, that's not my password, I'm just typing it for example, and the volume. The volume is what you want the name to be called on your Amiga. So I'm calling it, oops, all caps, dump. You can choose to auto mount on startup. If you were to toss SMB mounter in WB startup, it would fire it up. But I have problems if you're not running AMA TCP, that it loads before Miami loads and I don't always run Miami in my startup so I don't uh, you can check it off and manually when you launch SMB mounter it will do it okay so after clicking OK you'll see the Amiga and the whoop, just drop a floppy off and you'll see dump on XServe 2 so if I just click and say mount the dump and look at this there's the dump now the dump doesn't have anything that you can see so we're gonna go list 2, list plus or write Amiga 2 for list mode, write Amiga Plus, this is my dump, so this is where I just dump all my YouTube videos, upload all that stuff, 
all my footage from the camera. So, yeah, I want to unmount dump. The one thing I forgot to mention on this is uh, if you like your things, go up to the top and do save all mounts or write Amiga S. Is that a joystick connector in the way? Yeah, sure. So once you save it, uh, so I've, I've gone ahead and I've removed, I've unmounted that and we've mounted the Amiga share. The cool thing is, is if you have a disk.info, like my hard drives with Magic Workbench, I copied the disk.info to that drive. So when it mounts, it loads up as an Amiga drive and you can save like how you want it to look. You can do normal commands like if I want this here and snapshot it, when I close it and reopen it, that is where it's at. So that's mounting the share. But now what about using it? Uh, with 3141, let's just say OS 314, it supports large file name or large volumes and large file names. Look at the amount of space I have free. 1.3 terabytes. And it sees it correctly. But I have 1.3 free. And that's there's many shares on that side of my, my XServe raid. So we're gonna go ahead and go into list view which is right amiga number two and we can also go right amiga plus to show all files including files with no icons and you'll see i have backups and apps and all sorts of things in here so i was making a folder called uh coffin r54 files and the reason i was making that was because i wanted to toss some crap on the 3000 that was in coffin and i uh have the ethernet card in but i'm like i want a just easier way to do this because there's a there's a 16 gig card on the vampire that i couldn't access so i'm just grabbing that crap and putting it on there that way i could actually get the files that were on the the vampire over here like all the benchmarks and these are running from the network like the old the sysinfo and the beta so i could run sysinfo from the network you know speed the normal stuff blah 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 So, 103 MIPS, 55 Megaflops. We're on a little light on the dry stones. Let's see. Let's quit that. But these are running from the network. But what I want to go over is this. Let's say you have DH1. I got some crap on here. Like Odyssey Browser. If I want to take... I don't know. Let's grab a benchmark. Let's take... Amagod. Just drag it over. It's a hell of a lot faster than Amiga Explorer. A hell of a lot faster. There you go. If I was to use that on Amiga Explorer, it's a one-off. takes forever. If anything happens to the link during that time, you have issues. I don't even have my computer on. Look. That sucker's off. Fan's not spinning on the CPU. I'm just sitting here. The server's on, but nothing else is. Let me make a directory over here. Call it delete this. That way, I don't have to keep... Uh, copying the same junk. And we're going to grab, I don't know, MRC, these four. So you can select multiples. And we're just going to drag them over to delete this. You'll see the hard drive light is a blinking away. And it's a copying. Now, you know, it's not the fastest. It's only a 10 meg card. And it doesn't always get 10 megs. And I had to copy the largest cache directory in the world, didn't I? We're going to copy PFS3. We're just going to copy file systems to RAM. 3 point something megs. Finished. Alright, so there's delete me, and we're going to actually write me to delete. Packet requests. Skip it. It's deleting the Macintosh information store, which is probably locked right now. I can't delete this D DS store because it's in use. But I could delete these. We're going to make a D. Nuke. Boom. Done. So be careful if you have some locked files, like the thumbs.db on a Windows share. You might not be able to delete it. Now I can delete the actual drawer. We're going to make a D. A bye bye. And it's gone. So as you can see, SMB mounter works very well. It's flaky depending on your SMB version. And you can unmount. And then you should be able to remount like the dump or just double click on it, double click on it. And there is my two drives. And you can get to this commodity through exchange SMB mounter. 
Uh, it's by Rob Crannell. Simple GUI mounter for mounting shares, version 1.5, 2010 to 2015. It works very well. I love it. So thank you, Rob, for uh, making this. It's a wonderful addition, even though it does require an extra little uh, SMB utility. But I don't know how great SMB is on the Amiga. Anyway, compatibility, you saw I had some lockups on some Macintosh side files. You might have the same thing on a Windows side, but the principle is the same. It's faster than Amiga Explorer if you have an Ethernet card. Uh, I don't know about a plip box, but it depends on what you have. If you don't have a serial to a parallel port a cable for your Amiga and you don't have Amiga Explorer or you can't, how are you supposed to get it if you don't, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of things that you can do. Uh, you could do, one of the, the original old things I, I do is when I started Amiga up, like a 500 project with no hard drive, you're running on one mega chip RAM, maybe something in the belly, I have a floppy drive. This is your first network. What you can do is format this as a PC 720K disk. Format it on your Amiga. If you go into devs, uh, storage, DOS drivers, you'll see PC0 in there, PC1 if you have DF1. Edit it if you have more drives. Uh, but for, like, say, a blank 500, drag PC0 back into devs, DOS drivers, and reboot. Plug this in, you'll see the Amiga thing, you'll get that weird question mark, PC0 question mark. Right click format that, it turns this into a PC 720K drive. Everybody's got USB floppies now. If not, pick one up on eBay for like five bucks. Put it in your PC, drag and drop a couple files over, sneaker net. Back and forth, back and forth. You can do things, and it'll run off of this. You can do things to at least get you up and running. Maybe you need a utility for your... Uh, hard drive controller maybe you need to write an ADF you could you know copy the ADF to RAM and write it to disk that kind of thing you should have enough RAM if you have like a one mega Amiga you'll be slow but you can do it I mean right now I'm rocking at 780k but I got a bigger resolution I have a ton of buffers and I have uh, because of the larger partition my block sizes are like 1024 2048 on a couple of the larger drives uh, so that's it. That is SMB on your Amiga and nothing fancy, accelerated, non-accelerated. This will work on a 68K and it will work on anything faster, of course. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.